Hello, my good, good friends. Welcome back. I had to jump on and make this video. I stumbled across this film clip not even five minutes ago, and I knew that I had some things to say about it. So it is a song called Snowflakes by some guy called Tom McDonald. Now, you might think, Snowflakes? Since when has that been a go-to in this culture war? Was this song released in 2015? Maybe even 2016? No, the answer is no. It is August of 2021 right now. This song was released two months ago. Two months ago. This is insanely hilarious to me. And it goes to that whole notion of, I hope everybody remembers, when they were saying that conservatism is the new punk rock. I think Gavin McInnes said it. Miley Yiannopoulos probably said it. He says everything. And it's just the most ludicrous notion in the world. I mean, yeah, conservatives are just so punk rock that they'll wait to say their edgy take until well after. It is so politically and commercially safe to do so that there's not going to be any sort of backlash. That is very punk rock, if you ask me. I just, for all these people that say that, I want them, all these weird little alt-right nerds, on YouTube, I just want them to go to an actual punk rock show, spout off their ridiculous beliefs, and just have their nose broken to see what punk rock actually is. Like, it's just so hilarious. Anyway, that's enough of my ranting. I'm getting far too worked up. Let's get into this video. If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But your pro-choice abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. If America is so terrible and racist, it probably doesn't make sense to encourage immigration. This is one of the types of arguments that I love from the right. They actually don't believe what they're saying. It is like with all of the anti-vaccine stuff at the moment. You'll see women wearing shirts, holding up signs that's saying, you know, no vaccine, my body, my choice. Obviously echoing the arguments of pro-choice positions. But the thing is, they don't actually believe that that is a proper argument. They just want to be able to turn around and say, oh, well, it's my body, my choice. Ha ha ha. And try and throw it back in people's faces like adolescents do, like high school children do. Like if you were arguing with an edgy teenager, that is exactly what they try and do to you. And this is the same kind of argument. And it, of course, oversees simplifies all of the pushable factors that influence people migrating and immigrating to and from certain areas. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. <laughs> As somebody who is not American and who has talked to a lot of not Americans, that is patently false. You do not have the monopoly on that because... You are in the imperial core, as Mexi would say. You don't see or experience the effects that America's hegemonic neo-imperialism has upon the rest of the world. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures, and now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they screw a pronoun, because everyone's a retard these days. Now, this part is just actually, honestly, truly baffling to me. He's complaining about pronouns clearly going along the lines of all the other conservative talking points. And then Blair White takes off her balaclava. I have no idea what the intention, the purpose is of having her here, particularly when he's complaining about pronouns and especially how linked they are to issues in the culture war about trans people and trans identity. It, I just... If, if you can decipher that, if you have an idea of what he's going for, please let me know because I am truly baffled. We are preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem, but hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Lol. Oh my goodness. Talk about snowflakes. Yeah, no, that's literally all I have. I don't need to come up with some sort of cogent argument against that. You are literally just a snowflake. That is hilarious. Oh, straight white Christian men. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. Now, this again is one of those weird semantic things, but all I'll say is go and look up the paradox of tolerance. It was popularized by Karl Popper, and basically it's the, the notion that, that if you want to maintain a tolerant society, 
you have to be intolerant of intolerance. Otherwise, the society, the fabric of that society gets torn apart. Yes, it's a paradox, but it doesn't mean that it's worthless or it's pointless. But go and have a look at that, the paradox of tolerance. There's a race war here, elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died for this country and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans. Now, I'm not going to go deep on this about the dehumanization of the poor and how economic systems create those conditions. However, here is a wonderful idea. How about you do both? How about you give welfare to the people that need it and you can also give welfare to your veterans who you made go and fight and give, you know, all these complex mental uh, illnesses now that they're trying to deal with and that they're really suffering with. Why don't you do both? Black folks and white folks divided by the news, but we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and probe. They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store Empowering women used to be different than this before The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole This also just reeks of a, an either just flat out sexism and misogyny As well as just complete lack of reflective abilities Look at this guy face tats, trying to be gangster, acting all tough, he's a rapper, and yet he's decrying, you know, the fake role models that feminism has given us. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Like, and it, it's com the complete double standard of what he thinks is a role model. I guarantee you he thinks he's doing a great thing here. He thinks he's a wonderful patriot. On the other hand, though, all these oh, bloody OnlyFans and stripper pole women, oh, can't trust them. Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep Now I'm going to say something that I think might be quite controversial here for a, a lefty YouTuber But have you considered that all of those things could be due to capitalism? In the most capitalistic society in the world, all of those things are a 100% outcome of a culture where individual profit and greed is incentivized, is put up on a pedestal. And for every person, for every company, trying to make the most amount of money as possible is the highest good. Of course, that conflicts with a healthy society where people are not over-medicated, where they're not over-consuming. These people are just so insanely trapped in their little echo chambers where they see the effects of unbridled capitalism and they think, well, well that's communism. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. Ha <laughs> ha, I told you, it's, it's communism. That's the whole, <laughs> what? 2021, we paint the Patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. Okay, so low-hanging fruit. You know, so many people have addressed this. But it is still such a persistent uh, comeback. Oh, you're against uh, capitalism, but you utilize the goods of capitalism. Like if I lived in a feudalistic society 600 years ago and I was against feudalism, I would still probably have to partake in that society in order to survive, in order to try and meet my needs and my wants. The fact that people had to partake in a feudalistic society does not mean that every single person that had to do that wanted feudalism to continue indefinitely forever. The same can be true of capitalism. And the same can be true of any economic system that you are born into or live under. And from there, it just goes on. It has another chorus and a tiny little verse that means nothing and then just, you know, kind of finishes off the song. So bad song, bad, 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 bad. It's just, it's just so dumb. 
like it's catchy. Like I get why people might be, uh, you know, rocking out to it. Is that what the kids say these days? But the ideas expressed in it are just so basic, so dumb, so wrong. And for this to come out two months ago, that is just mind bottling. It, it's rattling around in my mind. And that's why I had to just come and do this quick video, have my say, and also just get everybody to have to listen to this. Because now that I had to listen to it, you all need to suffer as well. And with that, we're at the end of the video. I do want to put my Patreon out there. It's patreon.com forward slash only dog on the left. I have a few different tiers. I'm about to revamp it. Um, I am about to start a little Facebook group as well for all my Patreons. So if you want to jump in there and you want to be able to hit me up with ideas or just give me some feedback about how you think I could improve these videos, that would be absolutely wonderful. In Puppy Preschool, we have Extremely Online Left and Ben Snow. My guard doggos are Jordan Mark and Tristan Hennessy, and to A. Zeitlow, Danguin, and Jackson Orville, you are very good boys.